Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. Skip the intro. Let's get straight to the info. Salute to every single one of y'all out there, man. So an arrest has been made in connection with the murder of Pat Stay. I'm going to start there. You know what I'm saying? And I know that there's some people that get sensitive about different topics and things like that. But this is news. You know what I'm saying? I bring you the news with just my ghetto point of view. It's just my personal perspective. And it is what it is. So we have reported and spoke about the untimely passing of Pat Stay. You know, it's a lot of people that have been reaching out. Uh, to different platforms, a lot of people have been showing love. You know, I said uh, Eminem has showed love to him. Drake had wrestling did, and a lot of other people have, and they even shut down a lot of the city uh, in that Nova Scotia, Halifax area where he's from. But I just got word a news article came out, and it mentions exactly who the per well not the person's name, but it does say that a suspect has been arrested, and it's in multiple different news outlets whether the CBC, because you know, this is all in Canada. So it's not like this happened in Memphis or happened in Orlando or something like that. You know, he was not from America, but he was very revered and loved in America for the things that he was able to do in his battle rap career. Whether it was grind time, whether it was King of the Dot era, whether it was RBE URL, like Pat literally battled on every single one of the bigger platforms. And he did his thing in all of them. You know what I'm saying? He touched a lot of people. Uh, he was one of the perfect battle rappers. There may be some people in here that watch this. I know there's a lot of people following this story that are not just the crowd of battle rap people that I have. I know there's people that watch, you know, regular commercial news and they're like, who is this guy? Why was he so important? He's somebody who literally helped transcend that bridge between where he's from to where we're from and he was like one of the best to ever do it as far as like originality flow stage presence rebuttals cadence pat state had it all so um the article says uh from the cbc news in nova scotia halifax police arrest 31 year old man in retaliation to pat state homicide acclaimed battle rapper pat stay acclaimed battle rapper was stabbed on the lower Water Street in Halifax on Sunday. Pat Stay was killed in Halifax early Sunday morning and the 36-year-old was internationally renowned for his skills behind the microphone. The article says, Halifax Regional Police have arrested a 31-year-old man in connection with the homicide of acclaimed battle rapper Pat Stay, the force said in a Sunday news re release. No charges have been laid against the 31-year-old man. It says uh, Stay was found stabbed on Lower Water Street in Halifax at 12.35 a.m. on September 4th. It says the death was ruled a homicide. Pat Stay's funeral is set, take, set to take place on Sunday. He is survived by his partner and two children. Stay's death attracted international attention and an outpour of support. Rapper Eminem tweeted, hip hop lost one of the best battlers of all time. This is battle rap involves two Rappers confronting each other in front of an audience using a mixture of boasting, insults, and rhymes. Police did not provide further details about the man arrested. And they had a number down there for people that could try to figure out something in connection to it. So I know you have certain people that's like, yo, I never go to the cops. I never do this. I never do that. I'm in the streets. Whoop de woo. I truly believe in this circumstance, Pat Stay was a victim and he deserves justice. I don't see him out from who we knew and who we saw. I did not see him out there just running around reckless, talking crazy, trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know, nobody really knows what happened that specific day, but what we do know is that somebody that was loved, revered, and was a dope entertainer was taken from us. And with that being said, you know, he deserves his justice. He has two children, he has a partner, he has family. Uh, I did post. His GoFundMe, his GoFundMe was almost at 200,000. The original asking was 100. He gets almost 200, which I believe he deserves and more. Uh, you know, like I said, he's got two children that's got to live on. He's got a family that's got to live on. He's got, you know, bills that need to be. Nothing stops when these type of unfortunate scenarios happen. So I will say this: uh, I am, I'm happy that he that he's going to get justice in regards to the situation because, you know, a lot of the times when these type of shits be happening, like crimes or somebody gets killed or something, something negative happens. 
the people do, they just get away, you know what I'm saying? They just run off and they, the streets be quiet and all of that. But no, Pat State deserves, deserves the justice, you know what I'm saying? He deserves, his family does, and you know, his brother does. I heard, you know, I know I heard he has a brother. His brother was the one that had told him about his mom, and now his brother has to deal with the fact that Pat State is no longer with us too. So I pray, you know, my prayers go out to his brother and family at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at the end of the day, you know, I had mentioned it in another video, and I'll say it again, in the battle rap culture and all of that, this has been around for 10, 15 years, and we never really lost no big major stars, you know what I'm saying? Like, Pat Stay was a star. When Pat Stay's name was on the card, nobody was mad he was on there. He earned his right, he earned his stain. And this is the question I got for you guys. Now that, you know, this has happened, the battle rap fans, I said, I felt like Pat Stay was one of the only, maybe Iron Solomon too, but definitely Pat Stay was one of the only um, white battle rappers that were really able to make a full crossover to URL and battle on black leagues. I mean, there's a lot of other ones that battle, you know what I'm saying? You got the Ill Max, you got the Nun Nuns, you got the Mike P's, you got the Sharon's, you got all of them names. But I just felt like Pat Stay was the epitome of being able to cross over, battle at a high level, be on big cards, battle against big names, and win at the same time. He battled Tay Rock on URL. He battled Shotgun Shug on URL. He battled Danny Myers on Rare Breed Entertainment. And a whole host of other names in his career. Uh, so for his career, his life, to unfortunately get cut short like that, nah, we're not doing that. He, he definitely deserves justice. And I hope he gets it in a swift manner. You know what I'm saying? And by the looks of things, it looks like the police are investigating. It looks like they are, you know, asking for people that have seen something or know something in regards to the situation to reach out to them. Because like I said, when, and I know, you know, you got the people, oh, snitch this, snitch that, oh, God. listen, man, when you're a civilian, you go to work, you're working, you're taking care of your family, you're not in the streets, you know what I'm saying, you you entertaining, and somebody just comes and, and ends your life, you deserve justice. This is not no street gang war where, you know, one side and the other side and bot, like, that's different. That's street politics. But when you're a civilian, which I really regarded to pass there as a civilian, I regard to most people as civilians because if you got a job, you go to work, you to pay your bills, you know, if somebody comes in your house and does something, what do you want them to do? You know what I mean? But, um, you know, I hope he's memorialized well. I do hope his last battle versus Real Sick, one of his last battles, gets released on YouTube. I mean, I know the politics behind, you know, whether it be on the app or this or that. No, that needs to be his last bodies of work should be released to the general public. I feel like the general public uh, supported him. And, you know, at this point in time, I think his his work should be out there for people to see without having to pay for, without having to buy this and buy that. Like, after, after a while, sometimes money is not the biggest thing of all things. But, you know, like I said, my prayers go out to his family. Uh, I really hope that they find peace and resolve. I know this is not an easy time to see these kind of headlines and to see, you know, that somebody out there was out there. Like, he did this. Whoever did this did this last Saturday going into Sunday and was out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They just picked him up yesterday. So he was out for a whole week, whoever this was, and he's just out there like, you know, it is what it is. I did that. I did that there. No, man, it don't work like that, man. You don't get no you don't get no props for murdering civilians, bro. Like that shit don't work like that. You know, you kill somebody who's a family man taking care of his family and kids. And he's the type of person that if you would have had a regular conversation with him or you'd have been around him, like all the people, he's a person that nobody hated. I don't know nobody. I ain't seen nobody yet who said they hated Pat State for whatever reason, if it wasn't some petty, minuscule battle rap shit. But never anybody. He was loved by most people, man. It's very hard to find a person that everybody loves. But I had to give you guys an update, man. Like I said, uh, I told you I would and I will, you know what I'm saying? I know there's people who's like, oh, why y'all reporting on this or why y'all talking about it? But they still press play and watch it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I never understood that. Don't get mad. It's just an update. It's just me giving you the news with his ghetto point of view. <laughs> Period. Other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all, man. 
Y'all find some resolve out there. Y'all stay prayed up and stay up, man. Stay dangerous too, man. Get that gun license. Get that vest. Get whatever you need that's going to help you get back home at night. I'm all for it. Get your concealed weapon permit. For the ladies, you go out there, take you some weapons classes, learn how to use that weapon. If you got to get a knife, whatever the case may be, you would much rather be safe then not safe. Take that same three, four hundred dollars that you're gonna spend on some sneakers, on some Jordans, go get yourself a, a, a nine, a Glock, something, you know, in the states that you can, and just always make sure that you protect it, man, because out here you can never be too safe, because this shit is crazy. Other than that, man, I'm out. One.